Hello, I'm Dr. John Smelser, and welcome to another episode of Otno 101. We're pretty much smack dab in the middle of um, Otno words related to plants. We're almost done. There's probably maybe three or four more episodes to go, and I'll try to post those soon. Um, I was thinking lately about our mythology, our our ancient stories, what we call Yanida'ah, Yanida'ah, the stories of long ago. And that, you know, where Raven is our god figure, and animals talk, and the stories tell how everything came to be, how the stars, and the moon, and, you know, the sun, and how the ocean, and how land, and the mountains, how Mount McKinley, you know, Denali, how that was formed. And I've written, you know, many books about our mythology, and a lot of them have been translated around the world. And I thought, why don't I start posting me retelling those myths in a fairly traditional setting? And so I'm going to start doing that. Starting very soon, you could uh, go on YouTube to Atna Myths. Or maybe it'll be Atna Mythology, but probably just Atna Myths. And I'll start posting those. So I hope you'll watch them. They're integral to our language. I will use our language when I can for you. And it's integral to understanding our way of knowing. Our way of knowing the world around us and who we are. And they're being lost. They're being lost. When I was much younger, in the 80s, early 80s, when I was recording and interviewing elders, you know, I suspected from talking to them that they knew a hundred stories from their childhood. But by the time I started recording them and interviewing them for books, there was maybe 26, 26 stories. There were variations of them, but they were forgetting. The elders were forgetting a lot of the old stories. And so that's why I wrote some of my books. And so I think it's important that I leave some of the stories retold the way they usually were historically, traditionally, you know, a record for people, for Atna people to remember our stories. All right, thank you for watching.